Representative Mark Wayne Mullen is a Republican of Oklahoma, and he was doing a town hall style meeting, and a constituent said to him, what would you think of a small minimum wage hike to about $10 an hour? And the guy was asking, because he's like, look, I have friends and they make minimum wage. They work a full-time job, but they don't make enough money to live. So would you be in favor of a hike? He responded, quote, if you want to increase it, that's great. But what you're going to do is punish everybody along the way. Do you guys want to pay $20 for a hamburger at McDonald's? Now, where he got that number from, as you're about to see in a second, made it up. Just completely made it up. It was hyperbole. So what he doesn't know is that if you were to bring the minimum wage from $7.25 to $10 per hour, that would barely be enough to match the buying power that the federal wage floor provided 45 years ago. So when it comes to how much we pay people the minimum wage, we've actually regressed from 45 years ago. Isn't that amazing that we've gone in the wrong direction? Now, uh, a Big Mac in the United States today costs $4.56. In Australia, the minimum wage is about $14.50. So, wow, according to his math, since it's double the minimum, I mean, we'd be looking at, what, a $40 Big Mac or something like that? I mean, that's a lot of money, man. I bet nobody buys uh, any Big Macs in Australia, right? Well, oh, look at that. A Big Mac is only six cents more in Australia. So they can pay their workers $14.50, and a Big Mac is only six cents more. And also, I mean, let's be clear, they didn't even have to raise the price of the Big Mac. They could still make a significant amount of money. They could just give them a raise and not even raise the prices of, uh, of the food. But see, even if they did, it's only six cents. When was the last time you heard somebody say, you know, I was gonna get that number seven for uh, $7.01, but now that it's uh, $7.07, I can't do it. Never heard it in my life. Uh, that leads me to my next point also. This guy has no idea about economics. Because he thinks, oh, well, the way wages work, it's uh, whatever the cost of labor is, and then it's a fixed cost above that. No. Have you ever heard of supply and demand? McDonald's will charge for a Big Mac whatever the market will bear. So your point about paying people more, it's, again, it's got, there's no connection between that and the actual price of uh, the goods. And he's ignoring the societal impacts of a better minimum wage as well. A $9 minimum wage would add $48 billion in spending and 0.3 percentage points of gross domestic product growth. That's according to researchers at the Chicago Federal Reserve. A $10 minimum wage would lift 6 million Americans out of poverty. So, if you raise the minimum wage, what's going to happen? Less dependence on government, on programs like food stamps. So he should be in favor of it, but no, he's not. Now, uh, he's not done yet. He makes a smooth transition from saying he doesn't want a minimum wage increase to berating people for taking food stamps. He says, quote, so I'm in Crystal City and I'm buying my groceries and I noticed everybody was giving that card. Talking about the food stamp card. They had these huge baskets and I realized it was the first of the month. But then I'm looking over and there's a couple beside me. This guy was built like a brick house. I mean, he had muscles all over him. He was in a little tank top and a pair of shorts and really nice Nike shoes. And she was standing there and she was all in shape and she looked like she had come from a fitness program. She was in the spandex and you know, they were both physically fit. And they go up in front of me and they pay with that card. It's fraud. Absolute 100% all of it is fraud. It's all over the place. And there you go to the fact that we shouldn't be supporting those who won't work. Look at that reasoning. These guys are physically fit so they should starve. What? How can you tell somebody's financial situation and how much income they have based on how they look? That's absolutely ridiculous. And of course, the real facts on food stamps, the fraud rate is a whopping 1%. Also, more than 40% of people on food stamps work. They just aren't compensated adequately to be able to afford food and rent. And that's not a problem with them. It's a problem with the system. And you're a fucking politician. Your job is to fix the system, and you don't want to do that at all. But notice, he doesn't even 
want to raise the minimum wage when that would get people off of food stamps. His belief system is contradictory. And on top of that, people on food stamps who don't work are likely to be under 18 or over 60. So you tell us which of those people you'd like to kick off, the minors or the senior citizens? If you want to limit the program, you're going to have to kick some of those people off, right? And there's really strict requirements to get on food stamps, and it actually prevents at least 50 million people that need food stamps from getting them. And keep in mind, 75% of the American people are living paycheck to paycheck. So we really should be talking about expanding food stamps and raising the minimum wage. But no, no, this guy's plan is, oh, don't raise the minimum wage. In fact, probably cut it or something like that. And uh, don't do any more food stamps. So stop the food stamp program. So his plan to look after the poor is starve.